Hey everyone, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz from Photokrati and NextGen Gallery. Today I want to show you how to resize images in NextGen Gallery. So the first thing, first way you can do this is by turning on this automatic resize images after upload. You just turn it on, yes or no, very simple. And then you choose what size you want them to be uploaded to and choose the quality. Now, the reason why you might want to do this is some people, they don't, um, you know, they don't, change their sizes from the camera or from wherever before they upload. So some people will just, um, you know, they want to share their family photos in the next gen gallery and they'll just take it from their iPhone, let's say, which photographs pretty high resolution considering it's a phone. So instead of resizing it beforehand, you can turn this on automatically resize images after upload and choose what size you want to go for image optimization. If you do this, my, my recommendation is to turn on back up the original images because what this will do is actually back up, literally back up those originals in the, in the original resolution. And so that way you can resize your images later on if you wanted to make them bigger without losing any quality. So that is what I would do first because then what happens is when you go and add new gallery and images, whether in bulk or individually, you can have it resize automatically. You don't have to do anything. So that's a great feature to do. That is found in the next gen gallery, the gallery tab here on the left, other options, and then right here under image options, automatically resize images after upload. And then again, if you turn that on, also do backup original images. Now it might be worth you doing that anyway. It'll take up a little bit more space to have those originals there. But if you ever want to revert to a change or if you add a watermark and want to change that down the road, your images are always backed up if you leave that on. The next thing I want to show you is how to do it afterwards. So let's say you've uploaded and you can see right here, this was uploaded at 849 by 565. All of these are around there. They're all over 800 at the longest length, 800 pixels. So what I want to do is in bulk, you can go ahead and you can just select or you can select all if you want to. I'm just going to do two to speed up, speed this up. And then from bulk actions, go to resize images and hit apply. Now from here, I can go ahead and make the longest length 800 or the longest uh, height at 600. So what that's going to do is it's just going to take the longest width. So right now it's 849 and 848 for these two that I selected. And I'm going to make it 800 and I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to run through the process of resizing those images, not the originals, just the ones in the gallery to 800. And you can see right here now this is 800 at the longest by 532 and this is 798 by 533. So you can see that did a great job at that. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and edit your thumb and rotate and that kind of fun stuff. So uh, that is how you resize images in NextGen Gallery. It's very easy uh, to do in the Manage Gallery tab very easy. Now you could also do this from the front end. Uh, if you are creating a gallery, you need the gallery to be smaller, you can do it using the, the dynamic structure as well, the dynamic features of NextGen Gallery. So you can go ahead and add a new post. And when, if let's say you're doing a uh, pro blog style uh, gallery in NextGen Pro. So we're going to say, we're going to call this resize images. And we're going to go and add a new gallery. The attach to post interface is going to load. So let's say we want to add a pro blog style and right now we know that those two images are 800 pixels and we know the others are even larger than 800 pixels. So we, we're going to select uh, a gallery. We'll just select the gallery right now and we're going to say override image settings and we're going to bump the quality down. Now this will, by bumping the quality down, that's actually going to speed up the, the loading time. And then we're going to make the display size 400. So you can see that using the dynamic structure and the dynamic feature of NextGen Gallery, we can just make it so that the images are smaller. Uh, now it is always good for speed wise to not use dynamic if you don't have to. So if you are okay with your images being smaller, then, or if you need them to be smaller, then, you know, just resize the images and keep your originals backed up if you ever need to make them larger again. But if you need those images to be bigger somewhere and smaller somewhere else, then you've got the flexibility of the dynamic features of NextGen Gallery. So that is how you could use uh, resize in NextGen Gallery, both by resizing the actual images and by using the dynamic features. 
This is Scott from Photocardia Next Gen Gallery, and thanks for watching.